Edge banding's been around for as long as plywood's had ugly edges. And we sometimes use this technique just to dress a piece up a little bit. The problem has always been getting the banding aligned properly so we don't have to sand forever to get the piece ready for finish. I got this set of high quality carbide tipped router bits from Rockler. They make this process a whole bunch easier. These bits use all the finest materials, they're nicely balanced, and run very smooth and cut cleanly. And they're easy to set up, and that's something you can't say about every router bit. These bits are designed to work with wood up to three quarters of an inch thick. When you have the concave bit shown here set at the right height, the upper and lower cutting edges contact the wood at the same time. That makes setting this up very easy. Both of these bits have guide bearings, so these set the router table fence so that both faces are flush with the front edge of the bearing. Then I run all of the banding pieces across this bit. And notice that I'm using push blocks so I can keep my fingers away from this bit. And here you can see how clean these rocker bits cut. This consistency makes it a lot easier to glue these pieces in place later. For setting up a pointed convex bit, I found it easier to draw bracket lines like this rather than trying to hit a center line exactly. We want these lines pretty close to each other but not touching. Then all we have to do is adjust the bit height so the point is right in between those two lines. You'd be surprised at how perfect you can get this setting using this technique. You still want to make a test cut to confirm it, but you can get right on the money this way. And then we can cut the D-groove into plywood. This bit from Rockler cuts very well, but you don't want to force a cut like this because we're removing a lot of material. Just take your time and let the bit do the work. This bit profile creates a ton of glue surface, so all you have to do is apply a nice clean coat of glue to both of the pieces. I apply a thin coat of glue to both pieces, and then we can just clamp it together. We don't have to use any fasteners at all on this. This bit profile doesn't need a bunch of clamping pressure. You just close the joint up and just snug the clamps down. This will be a corner shelf, so I only had to band two sides. But banding all four sides really isn't much more difficult, and you can clamp it up just as quickly. And after the glue sets, you can go ahead and sand everything flush. If you took your time with setup and used the same thickness as the wood, there'd be very little sanding to do to get it ready for finish. This assembly is made out of absolutely junk wood, but with a little paint or finish, this is going to look just fine. So if you want to do edge banding, and just about all of us will, you need to check out these bits from Rockler. They do a very good job, they're very well made, and they're going to last a long time. <laughs>